Welcome to the Villages, the number one master plan retirement community in the United States and the biggest in the world. People have lots of opinions around the Villages and you know what, today we're just going to explore it, talk to some people and see what this place is all about. Take some of the mystery out. I'm Katrin Fitzenright, I'm a realtor in Florida and this channel is all about Florida information, destinations and real estate. Let's get right into this video. The Villages is an over 55 active golf cart community that calls itself Florida's friendliest retirement hometown. It is located right in the center of Florida, about 45 minutes away from Orlando and 75 minutes northeast of Tampa. The Villages was first opened in the early 1980s by founder Harold Schwartz, but it was his son Gary Morris that turned the Villages into what it is today, a Disney World for adults. Now his children continue to run the holding company of the Villages and the Morris family's wealth has now reached multi-billion dollars. Now like the name may imply, the Villages is actually not a small place at all, but it is a master plan community that spans about 57 square miles and as of 2022 the villages has over 138,000 residents over 71,000 homes and 78 villages and when you're in the villages it truly feels as if you're in a different world far far away from the rest of Florida it's like being in a bubble with all these amenities you can imagine in that bubble in a very well manicured area. And it's a place that is said to be amongst the safest places to live in all of Florida. Now this retirement community is also very golf cart friendly with almost all of the villages being golf cart accessible. You'll see more golf carts than cars on the streets here. And you can tell that people really love their golf carts here and that they're having fun in them because they're everywhere in these golf carts. Because these golf carts are people's prized possessions in ways they have these unique looks and some people actually even bedazzle them in really interesting ways. Now there are three downtown areas in the villages referred to as squares and those are Spanish Springtown Square, Lake Sumter Landing Market Square and Brownwood Paddock Square. And they're now working on the fourth one called Sawgrass Grove, which will officially open sometime in November of this year. We're in Spanish Springs Town Square, which was the first one to be built in the villages. Each one of these squares has an entertainment center that hosts daily free music festivals and is really meant for friends and family to gather. There's so many restaurants and shops in the square as well. And today they're actually hosting a classic car show with live music. Towards the end of the day, the square got so packed and people started dancing towards the center of the square and it was just really great to see how much fun boomers were actually having. We're now heading over to the second square, Lake Sumter Landing Market Square, which Probably it's the most fun to be in, at least we had a lot of fun there. The setting is by a beautiful lake and has the best vistas from any of the three squares. Now check out those golf carts. Seeing all these golf carts parked was hilarious. What don't I like about the villages, you know? It's just, if you're lonely or you're, it's your own fault. Because every square has, every night there's um, bands at the three different squares yeah. and there's shops there's probably over a thousand restaurants right wow. now okay every doctor specialist facility they're all here they're all here right. so neither one of us have a car this is it I've got, i love it this looks so fun my golf cart is up the street oh wow and we okay. gave up our you don't need if we need a car for anything we get a we rent a, a driver right. to go to the airport. Okay. You get around in this, it's so easy to park. Okay. It's so fun to drive. They have, I don't I don't even know now how many golf courses, but if you pay a trail free fee of what, $145 a year, you want to say something to You me? can golf on the nine hole courses. Okay. That's your trail fee. Okay. So you don't have to pay oh. anything. So if, it's more affordable golfing here. It's it's basically free. For free, okay. That's um, if you go off on 18 holes, there's a fee. But most people who come down here, if they're just out, have a good time. Right. Like us, we're golfing. The main thing is, where are we going for lunch? People here just seem to have so much fun. And you can tell they just truly want to enjoy life. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, 
40 years old and four months. Yeah, yeah. He was born April 1st, 1982. The area by the lake has a restaurant bar with great views towards the lake, of course, and there are some really nice sunsets to be watched as well. Now, life entertainment is every day from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m., so it's kind of hard to get bored in the villages. And a lot of residents will come out in their golf carts, because we know they love their golf carts so much, and they'll park it right in front of the town center to have a prime view towards the stage. They'll stay in their golf cart to have drinks and snacks, and they'll get to enjoy the show from there. We do all the time. Oh, it's right there. Oh, it's good. Listen, I can even dance. Well, others will take a seat in the audience or they'll dance with their partners naturally, right? But then of course you also have those folks that are clearly perusing the crowd for a date. I actually talked to a guy in his 70s who ended up moving to the villages to be with his girlfriend but the relationship didn't work out. He didn't feel too bad about it, but he's now looking for a new girlfriend. He said it's really hard to find him, apparently. Now that beckons the question, is the villages really the STD capital in the US? It certainly makes for a great news headline, painting a picture of a very active older community, right? Which to some people may even be the reason why they're interested in the community in the first place, right? As if to say, I can still have fun in the villages and it isn't over until it's over. As a former marketing executive, I know sensationalized news headlines like this one can be a backhanded compliment and actually help sales. But I hate to break it to you, but as fun as this STD story may have sounded to some people or maybe interesting, it probably isn't true. Apparently, the story was started by a gynecologist who stated during an interview that she treated more cases of STDs in the villages than she did when she was in Miami. But it's just a story. She blew it out of proportion. So I went ahead and I checked data from the Florida Department of Health. Compared to Florida overall, the three counties containing the villages tended to have significantly lower rates. Our last stop was the Brownwood Paddock Square, which is the newest square. And we felt that this place had the most upscale choices of restaurants and drinks, but unfortunately we didn't have a chance to stay too long because of the summer lightning storm that decided to come around in the evening. Surprise, surprise. I have to say that the Villages is a fun and friendly place. It's very well manicured. That can be a dream place for many folks, for sure. Today, it is the fastest selling master plan community in the US and real estate prices tend to be more affordable in the Villages than in many other places in Florida. And that just widens the appeal towards the villages. Prices start in the low 200,000s for the patio style villa, but can go well into the millions for the designer series of homes. Now this is really cool, and this is what a lot of the residents absolutely love. The amenities fee is just $179 per month, which is really cheap given what it gets residents. And that is, they have a choice to participate in classes and activities, including biking, pickleball, tennis, but perhaps best of all is that they get to golf for free on 42 executive courses. Now, not everyone is going to love the villages. For one, the community is further away from the beaches. I would imagine it would take at least over an hour to get to a really good beach. You're also in a 55 plus community bubble that leans conservative. Here's what you need to know. There are other master plan communities such as Lakewood Ranch or Welland Park that are great alternatives for those who are not going to be interested in the villages. And these communities are located on the Gulf Coast, close to award-winning beaches such as Siesta Key. So if the villages does not appeal to you, maybe explore those options. I would be happy to provide you with more information on those communities. I know them really well. I can provide you with those insights and perhaps even help you find your new dream home on the Gulf Coast. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it, it really does help out. Now, if you're interested in real estate in the villages, Give me a call. I can refer you to a credible agent that's going to take really good care of you. Email me, call me, reach out anytime. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Always appreciate it when you do. Take care.